Hello fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts, this is Not From This World and I want to welcome you to another tutorial. So today I thought I'd keep it a little bit simple and show you a neat little trick that I have to admit I probably should use more than I do. And that involves our parameter tab and our toggle or slider bars. Now we all know that we use these slider bars all the time. So there are some features with the slider bar that you can enable that'll help you with your posing and rendering. So I've got Milica here and what we're going to do is we're going to select her head and um, under her head in the parameters of course we have our pose controls and we have all these slider bars for all of the different poses and you know I have um, downloaded different poses and things so if you have done that you're gonna get this huge long list of slider bars that are gonna give you all kinds of different options you know like here it says shocked or scream so you know when we slide the bar it changes her expressions and then of course we can also manipulate her facial features and you know blink her eyes move her eyes and that kind of thing well what's really cool is each slider bar is going to have some features in the upper right corner so it has a little lock it's got a little heart and then it's got this gear now in some previous videos i've talked about the gear a little bit but i'm going to go over these features with you a little bit all right so if i do a search under eyes i'll get all of these toggle bars where I can slide and move her eyes. So, you know, I can move them left and right and up and down and I can cause her to blink or open her eyes even more. But it's kind of a hassle to do the search all the time. And that's where these features come in handy. The first feature I want to show you is the little heart. So like eyes side to side and eyes up and down are something that I use all the time. So if I click these little hearts, on the uh, slider bar I'm going to add it to my favorites and so here if you look next to the parameters tab I have all selected so everything that has eyes in it is selected but if I hit the heart and go to favorites then those options are just available under that tab I also have currently used so like the most current ones that I've used will be listed as well. But the little heart is pretty cool because you can separate those important slider bars from the ones that you may not use as much. So for example, um, I'm going to heart the eyes closed, eyes side to side, and then eyes up and down. And then every time I want to pose Milica, I can just hit the favorites and I get those three eye toggle uh, slide bars that I can then use for posing. Okay, now the next thing is if you look next to the heart, you're going to see a little lock. Now this is kind of interesting because if you lock that slider bar, it can't move. So whatever feature that um, you lock cannot be moved. I've never really used this before, but I accidentally clicked it one time and I was trying to figure out why can't I move her arm? Why can't I move her arm? And it turned out that it was locked. So if you are making a pose and you get something set up, like, you know, maybe her fingers or she's holding something, you can lock it. So then when you pose again, those will stay in position. So if you want to change part of her pose, but keep another part exactly the same, you can lock that slider bar and then you won't have to um, repose over and over again. So that is pretty cool. And then of course, I want to show you the little gearbox. And when you click on the gearbox, you have some options. Now some of these options, like you can lock, just like we had with the little padlock, you can go ahead and lock it from this. Um, you can add it to your favorites, just like hitting the heart. So it's kind of a longer way of accomplishing those two tasks. Um, you can hide 
the toggle bar or um, what's kind of cool is you can reset all the values of that toggle bar so if you hit reset it'll just reset the entire thing and that can be pretty handy if you need to just kind of start a pose over again for example another thing that it has is it says reset attributes and what the reset attributes do is it clears everything that you had so it if you had this feature saved as a favorite or if you had it locked it just defaults back to everything when you hit reset attributes now the top is the parameter setting and I've kind of gone over this before but I thought I would just show this to you one more time so under the parameter setting you can see that you have kind of a longer way to hide lock or favorite and then you can check or uncheck the use limits use limits um, you know when you pose and it comes up with that screen that says um, this exceeds limits you can get by that by unclicking this uh, that's what it does when you accept that is it unclicks this limit so a lot of the poses for example will have a limit to you know how much the elbow moves all you have to do is just unclick that and then you can use any limit you want most of the toggles have percentages so you can manipulate that you can ch uh, change that you can change your nudge so for example so the nudge will change how smooth we can move our pose what it does is the nudge is going to change if you hit these pluses or minuses on your toggle. Like this one's going up by 0.5. So we can change that if I go into the parameters. I can change this nudge and I can make a finer movement by changing this nudge to something like let's say 0.2. And so this can be really handy if you're trying to get really detailed poses. All right, pretty cool. One thing that we need to realize is these favorites and all of these values that we can change are gonna be character specific. So if I go here to cat and I select cat, we are not gonna have any of the features that we selected with Milica. So you're gonna to have to set these favorites, locks, parameters based on each figure. So that's kind of a bummer, but I understand why they think that way because each character you may be posing differently. So if I want to focus on Cat's eyes, Cat's eyes, and um, favorite her closed eyes, side to side eyes and up and down eyes. I'm gonna have to do that for her separately and see there they are. But um, it does make things a lot easier. Now there is one thing I need your help with and that is this little box here. And if you, if you select it, it'll say click here to toggle whether this property overrides any controllers. And I have been playing with this and I was trying to figure this out before I made this video and I could not really figure out what this does. Now I do notice that when we select it and we go to the parameters and uh, go to parameter settings, we all of a sudden have controllers right here. And if you click on it, it gives you a list of controllers that are poses. See, elation, pleasure, agony, and I'm not sure how selecting this overrides, but what I'm thinking is it may override whatever controllers that are listed. And so I'm not sure about this. So if you have an idea or if you know what that override controller button is for, please let me know. I'd love to figure it out because I was playing with it and I could not figure it out to save my life for this video. So that about does it for this short tutorial. I really hope you enjoy it. And I've got to say thank you. I'm 
almost at 900 subscribers now, which is awesome. I had a goal for a thousand before the end of this year, but I'm not going to make that. But, um, you know, I'm going to hit a thousand pretty quick. So I really appreciate all of your comments, your suggestions and especially your likes, subscribes, and comments. So we're gonna render this up and uh, let's see what it looks like. Kind of the same scene that I had in my other uh, tutorial, but I hope learning a little bit about these parameters gave you some new information. And let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos. All right, until next time, have a wonderful day and happy holidays. <music>